Hello Taurus, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It will be a general message, so it may or may not resonate with everybody out there. Take what does, take what doesn't. Don't try to make anything fit. Understand that these messages can come through, vice versa, crosswise as individual messages, as one big storyline. You will need to use your own discernment. Otherwise, if you're looking for something tailored to your specific situation, Please do get a private reading, and for me, that information is in the description box down below. Taurus, we're going to be looking at your past, present, and future energies and shared energy between you and your potential or your person. That being stated, let's go ahead and jump into your reading. All right, so in the past position, for you, Taurus, I'm seeing the tower. So this was a shakeup. This was chaos. This was change. This was a destruction of a solid foundation. This could have been a breakout for some of you. An epiphany, something that happened very chaotically and rationally and very quickly. The energy for your person is the King of Cups. So you could be dealing with the Cancer Pisces Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. But this is a very sentimental, very sweet, um, very loving king. And this would be a person, obviously. It doesn't have to be a water sign, guys. This is somebody who is also very reserved when it comes to expressing their emotions. Um, they're not very verbally um, expressive. They will tend to lean towards the arts as a way to, of communicating their feelings. So poetry, music, books, things of that nature. Shared between you was the Five of Cups. So this is feelings of regret, loss, sadness grief, things feeling um, very much out of reach or unattainable. Currently, you are in the three of wands, so I see this is a bit of waiting, um, patiently waiting, waiting for your ships to come in. Some of you may be waiting for communication, or this could be tur you turning your back on this situation for some of you. Your person's coming through with the eight of swords, so this is somebody who feels stuck. Very chaos, very much a lot of chaos happening around them, but this person feels stuck um, in their way, in their own head, in a situation, in a way of being, acting, thinking. But this is somebody who feels stuck, unable to escape or move. Shared energy between you is the Eight of Pentacles. So this very well could be both of you are willing or feeling like you want to put an effort or work into the situation. Others of you could be focusing on work at this time. Or your attention may be diverted in different directions. Future energy moving in. I see the four of swords. So this is contemplation as well as healing. Your person has the emperor, Aries energy. This is about taking action. Divine masculine who wants to build, achieve, succeed. Um, this is a powerhouse. Shared energy between you is the queen of swords. Air energy here. Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. But this is, you know, making changes, making cuts, speaking truthfully and honestly. There is wisdom and integrity in this queen. Overall energy of this read is the four wands because you could be dealing with a long-term partnership, marriage, engagement, or the stability of a relationship. The hidden energy in the subconscious that's under the surface, as you may or may not be aware of, for you and your person, is the Ace of Pentacles. So a new opportunity is presenting itself here. Bottom of the deck is the Page of Pentacles. All right, so let's get some clarifiers on the situation and see what's going on for my beautiful Tauruses at this time. These readings are intended to be timeless, so do know whenever you found yourself here is when you were meant to hear these messages. All right, Spirit, Angels, Guides, please clarify the cards on the table for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is the most important messages, guidance, advice coming through? I'm asking for clarity for the cards on the table, starting with the tower in the past position. All right, so we're getting the king of wands. Could be a air sign again, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Aquarius strong in the... Okay. We're getting judgment. We're getting the two of cups and the nine of swords. <laughs> and some of you definitely were having some communication issues. I'm getting the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This very well could be representing your energy, Taurus, 
um, this also goes again, lends to the stability of a relationship. So I feel like something happened very major here in the past. Um, now this past could be last week, last month, last year, two years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 50 years ago. You are the determining factor in knowing what, what that past is for you. Um, somebody could have been cold and distant. You could have been dealing with a air sign, but overall, you know, this is somebody who it took emotions out of the scenario and making decisions. I do see a judgment call or a card here. So this was making a judgment call or making a decision, needing to really re examine the past. I see a lot of anxiety, worries, sleepless nights. Some of you could have been going through a bit of dark night of the soul when it comes to this partnership. For others of you, this is some a secret. Something came out that destroyed the foundation of this relationship and led to a lot of coulda, woulda, shouldas and a lot of pain and suffering and grief where a judgment call was needed. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, some of you, again, this is truth. And again, I can't make this up. Look at the bottom of the deck. Um, the High Priestess, the Four of Wands, the Ace of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like you got clarity or truth was communicated that rocked the foundation or destroyed the foundation of this relationship. A secret came out. And some of you may have called it quits, moved away from this person, got in that boat and motored. I'm seeing the, the moon for Pisces energy. Um, Cancer Pisces doesn't matter, but it's there. But there was a lot of fears, things that were hidden coming to light. <clears throat> it happened very quickly. What is this King of Cups energy, please? Past position for Taurus's person. All right, we're getting the seven of wands. So I feel like this person was trying to block, block your energy. They were standoffish. They were at distance. They were closed off. They were not open or receptive. They were definitely not communicating their emotions here. I'm getting the two of wands. Somebody could have been caught between two places, two persons, two things. There was a decision here that needed to be made. I feel somebody wasn't taking very quick action. No movement was happening here at any level with this person. Yeah, and the, the Nine of Wands. So this is somebody who was definitely closed off. Somebody who also could have been playing a victim in the situation. The Wounded Warrior. Um, could have been at a distance for some of you. Could have been a Virgo. But I feel like, yeah, this is definitely a Hermit card. So this is detachment withdrawal from this relationship. What is this Five of Cups shared energy? Five of Cups shared energy between or in their person past energy. Okay. Queen of Swords coming back out here. I definitely see coldness and distance. Somebody um, actually was kind of, wow. Taurus, you're at the bottom of the deck here. Taurus, I feel like for some of you, this could have been a marriage that you wanted to move forward. I feel like some of you were trying to move on possibly from the situation. Some of you wanted to be victorious. Be recognized for the efforts and the love that you and the investments you put into this relationship. I'm getting that somebody wasn't appreciative. I'm also getting that somebody here, possibly you, had to end it. Now, you could regret ending it or the decisions that you made. But overall, I feel like this person regrets how they, that this came to an end for some of you. But overall... Somebody was also gloating that they felt like they, they, they got one over. They achieved something. They were the winner. And I don't see how there could be a winner in a relationship that was going south. And yeah, somebody was blocked off. Blocking their heart space. And we already seen that that was your person, Taurus. They were blocking you off. The higher font. Could be Ilya Sagittarius Aries here. All right, let's jump forward, Aries, and look at the current... Um, energies you're here in the three of wands please clarify the three of wands for Taurus please thank you yep you are waiting you are patiently waiting for your ships to come in for communication for some of you you're definitely patiently waiting here you're being brave and courageous some of you could be waiting on a Leo but I feel like you're stronger than what you know um Leo at the bottom of the deck you're waiting for a passionate new beginning you're ready to lay the, the burdens down um, I do feel like you guys have been in a place of unhappiness and discontentment, but you are focused on waiting for what, appearing for what you deserve or for someone that you deserve. You, I, I don't think that you're unaffected by any stretch of the imagination. 
but you are in control of your emotions at this time. Why is the Eight of Swords here for Taurus, this person? Current energy, please. Five of Pentacles. This person is uh, feeling loss, rejection, abandonment. The Eight of Wands. Again, this person could be at a distance. The Four of Swords, or Four of Wands with the Knight of Swords. Okay, so this person wants to come in quickly. They want to have something that they want to speak, want to communicate. Some of you could be hearing from this person. Could be is the keyword. Doesn't mean that they're actually going to reach out and say anything. But I'm feeling like this person feels stuck in the mentality of loss as a victim. They want to communicate how they're feeling about this, this connection. There's a truth here that they want to speak, some action that they want to take. Some of you, they're wanting to communicate with you about reconciliation. Some of you, this, they see you as the empress. They want to create an create and cultivate a new beginning for others of you you can share children together but they're waiting they're not sure how that how you they would you would be received or or they're stuck and not able to communicate this what is going on with this eight of pentacles please show me clearly precisely shared energy between Taurus and the current current energy current position all right so we're getting the Knight of Pentacles. So, but okay. So, both of you are working on a plan about forward movement. I see movement every which way. Somebody again is feeling stuck. Could be a Scorpio, but if they've been stuck, that's going to come to an end. You may be focusing on a plan, focusing on yourself, cautiously planning on how to move forward. Without this person, um, I do see slow, slow movement here coming from your side. I feel like you're working on moving on, Taurus. All right, there's the Empress. Some of you are maybe planning on how to create a new beginning. There's that Empress coming back out. Yeah, the High Priestess. So I feel like some of you are kind of got two different things going on here. Some of you are carefully planning, maybe focused on it at work, but are proceeding cautiously, slowly ahead. Some of you may have communicated with your person. I've had that communication already about a new beginning. But I feel like there's something is still not to be revealed here. Somebody is not communicating. Some of you, again, you're connecting with a Pisces or a Cancer with this High Priestess. Um, overall, for the for the collective here, I see both of you in this in a, in a and focusing focusing either on yourselves or, or coming up with a plan. I'm cautiously moving forward towards a new beginning that has yet to be revealed. So I feel like something has yet to be revealed or, or an action has yet to be taken. Some of you, this is going to be good, lead to good things and stability. And I do see communication. Somebody wants to come out of the cold and maybe this person. All right, so four of swords, future energy, please, for my Taurus. What do we have for Taurus here? Can you show me clearly, precisely? Thank you. All right, so I see an Ace of Pentacles. Oh, I, I see a Page of Pentacles. Earth energy, very grounded. One more. One more, please. All right, very beautiful. Bottom of the deck again, the Queen of Pentacles is popping back in there. Again, I feel like this is your energy 100% uh, for us. So some of you are contemplating a new beginning with this person. I believe that there's going to be a small offer that comes in from this person. Um, you're contemplating it. You're willing to invest if the person is willing to work with you. Again, you're looking at the stability, the long-term partnership with this person, the possibilities. Others of you may possibly be looking at um, healing and looking at a new opportunities opening up to you or what you want moving forward, what you're willing to invest in, um, what rewards you may seek for, reap and seek from a new connection. What is this emperor energy? 
Yeah, here they come. There's I got two cards here. The Emperor and the Knight of Swords. This is uh this this person's ready to take divine action. They're coming in hot and quick and fast, moving with this Knight of Swords. They got something that they want to speak and say. Some truth that they want to lay on your doors. Yeah, this this person was stuck before. They're not stuck anymore. They now know that you are what makes them happy. This is their wish fulfillment. Yeah, they were deceptive in the past. Um, but I feel like they are trying to heal that. They want to heal this connection between the two of you. So let's see the shared energy with the Queen of Swords. The Four of Swords. The Knight of Cups. And the star at the bottom of the deck, Aquarius energy. Um, some of you guys are going to work on healing this relationship, bring love back into it, and take a leap of faith with this person. Others of you, I feel like you're going to contemplate this love offer. But at the end of the day, I believe you're going to start something new. Some of you have kept in hope and faith. And has brought this root connection back to you. But I do see internally conflict about, you know, this brings up a lot of fears within. So I feel like some of you are going to be conflicted about accepting this offer. All right. So that is the messages coming through for my beautiful Taurus at this time. Please let me know in the comments down below if it resonated with you. If it didn't, don't worry. Pick your other planetary placements. If you're unsure what those are, there is a link in my description box below this video that can help you suss out that information. All right, my beautiful souls, that is it. Thank you for tuning in. Please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Namaste. Bye for now.